Well, I've got good news and bad news. Good news is we have a new guard in Rainland. This is Dominic G. Amberden. This is great. But the bad news is we've got a new guard not because Samuel finished upgrading a building and we have another person. No. We have a new guard because Francis... <sighs> Francis has fallen to an enemy skeleton. It happened right here and it was this very skeleton that killed her. I didn't even know it was happening, okay? I had my own enemies to fight. I fought against two creepers somewhere else. And then I get this message that she died to a skeleton. And I'm gonna avenge you, Francis. That's right, you freaking skeleton. How dare you kill my guards? How dare you? Ah, but now he's gone. and <laughs> This is all that is left of Francis. Well, whatever. To be honest, gosh, those people with those horrible stats. I really need to get my happiness back on the level and get some better guards and get some better citizens because those stats are just too bad like Dominic is a guard now but once again he will face some weak skeleton or a zombie god forbid a creeper and and this is it this is gonna be the end of Dominic and there is no other way about it but in any case Welcome back to Rainland. Samuel is working on this building and he is almost finished as well. He keeps asking me for one construction tape. This has got to be a bug because construction tape is not even an item I can craft. It's just something that they generate around the building. You don't need one construction tape. Samuel, dang it. Okay, okay, let's see. He asks for one construction tape. Freaking Samuel. Okay, okay, so I can do a few things. Number one, I can just try to destroy these ones, but it's not an actual item that I can pick up. So the other thing I can try to do is I can try to cancel that and then upgrade building again. So hopefully that will fix Samuel's obsession with construction tape. Uh, let's take a look. He's still there. He's still staring at his little builder's hut. And he still needs a freaking construction tape. Okay, let's try another thing. Let's cancel that. But canceling it is not enough for a man like Samuel. For a man with determination to get construction tape no matter what. No, no, just... Just cancelling it isn't enough, I bet. And I'm pretty sure he still wants it even now. Yep, so I'm gonna try to rejoin the world. And now, hopefully, Samuel just got over it. Okay, he doesn't want any construction tape. And he can go back to being a kind of okay-ish builder. Because that's all Samuel is with his stats. Horrible, horrible stats. And I gotta... Come on, Samuel. Okay, darn it. Hmm, now he's gonna work on this other building, though. And this one is almost finished. With one exception, he just wanted this freaking construction tape. <laughs> but in any case, I think he should have enough materials to build this other building as well. So, hopefully, by the end of this episode... Oh, look at that. He's actually carrying construction tape, you son of a gun! He had it in his hands all along. So hopefully by the end of this episode we will have two finished buildings, because all he really needs is to finish one and then this other one is basically done. But today I really wanted to make some progress in other mods. There are so many great mods and I'm gonna let this quest book guide me. So I made some progress with Batania and I'm definitely gonna work some more on it later on. I'm actually continuously putting more and more coal into my into my mana generators. So when the time comes to go back to being the arch wizard of Rainland. Well I mean I'm still 
a wizard, but when the time comes to work on Batania again, I will have plenty of mana. So there is a bunch of like this is this is just nothing. I'm not gonna work on that at all. Storage solutions is interesting, and it will really be nice to get some refined storage. I didn't really want to do it because I gotta go to the Nether, and I'm just trying to live a simple life here, okay? But I can't deny that it will be so convenient to have refined storage system in here as well. Tinker's Construct is another thing, and I think this is what I'm gonna work on right now. Because if I can give my workers tools, for example stone or iron tools that have modifiers that will make them unbreakable, kind of, or if I can just get a nice pickaxe with fortune and then go to the nether to collect quartz for refined storage, that will be a tremendous help. So Tinker's basics. What I need to do here is create four blank patterns. And I'm pretty sure that's all, right? I don't really need to do anything in here to unlock it. It's already unlocked. Yes. I think so. So I'm gonna go back to my base and make some blank patterns. Actually, I've got some spruce wood on me because turns out I have so much. I have stacks of it. So now I'm just burning it. <laughs> I don't need that much. But seriously, I'm just I'm just turning it into charcoal so I can power my Batania stuff. And there's a lot of cool things from Batania that I still really, really want to get. But first, actually, can I make basic patterns or whatever it's called? What is it called again? Blank pattern, of course. So can I make them using spruce, maybe? Oh, I don't even need any wood, really. Just some sticks. And this is where the problem begins. Some paper. Hmm. Some paper. I'm not sure if I have any. So I might want to go find some sugarcane somewhere. Although maybe I do have some paper. I definitely could have gotten some from some kind of a loot bag. But also, something tells me that maybe I... Maybe I went on a little bit of a search for sugarcane before in this series to get something else built. I'm not sure, but in any case, it should be fairly simple to find, right? Surely there is a little bit of sugarcane around one of these little pools of water. But still, let's take a quick look at my chests near the town hall. All right, no paper, no sugar cane, nope. Yes, actually, some sugar cane. That's nice. And I don't need this farm anymore. I gotta get rid of it properly sometime. But for now, I'm just gonna do this. No, 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 no. Okay, good. And plant this sugar cane in here. And that should be, well, yeah, that should be enough to make a pattern. Wait a second. Wait a second. Did they change the recipe for paper? What? What? Oh my gosh. Well, actually, if it wasn't for bone meal, I would even say that that's easier than it was. Because I have access to stacks and stacks of saplings but oh my gosh bone meal for every two paper dang it that makes things a lot more complicated because the only way for me to get bone meal right now is to trade using emeralds at a horrible rate of one emerald for one paper so, okay, give me your emeralds, good. It's a good thing that I brought this villager here at least. So I don't really have to go anywhere to get bone meal. Okay, there we go, four bone meal. 
Builder Samuel needs one furnace. Yes, I think furnace is one of the few things that I don't have in the warehouse. So, gotta quickly make that as well. But first, let's get rid of these seeds. And, oh, well, do I have some saplings in here? Yes, I do. There we go. And now, let's make paper using this horrible... Horrible, unnecessarily too complicated recipe. Well, I guess two is all I need for now, so let's not even make any more than that blank pattern. Oh, no, no, I need actually four, so... There we go. Four blank patterns, quest complete, and so... My Tinker's Construct journey begins. And in my Homeworld series, I obviously... <sighs> I did a horrible thing, okay? I thought, I decided that I don't need a good Tinker's Construct tool. No. I need the best Tinker's Construct tool in existence. And I didn't do anything with Tinker's Construct before I was able to make this greatest tool imaginable. And I think that was a mistake, to be honest. You can still make some amazing tools using, using some normal materials like iron or even stone, for example. When I'm gonna be making tools for my lumberjack and miner, I might be able to make some tools out of stone that will still have some modifiers like auto repair and some additional durability that will make them some amazing tools. Which, well, if I set it up right, if I maybe add some unbreaking as well, they will be tools that I might not even have to repair or, or replace for them ever. So that is something that I really, really, really want to do. But also, I'm going to make a nice tool for myself. Probably an iron tool. But I might actually have some materials in here that are better than iron that I might use. Like, I've got a, a bunch of different things from loot bags. And I don't really need any of them. At least I didn't need any of them. But a lot of them. A lot of them are different kinds of metals. So... Might wanna, might wanna use that as well. But let's take a look at what this quest book wants for me to make. Okay, needs more heat. So, yes, the next quest is to get materials for grout. And I will actually be rewarded with 48 grout straight away. So that will be quite a quite a nice uh, beginning. Oh, and I also need to make 8 grout as well. So, yeah, that 48 grout will definitely help me with my... with my... smeltery. So I need some sand and I need some gravel. Okay. And I already have some clay. I got 32 clay from somewhere. I think maybe Miner found it somewhere, but I'm not sure. And I actually don't have a shovel. Now I actually remember that she might have some gravel as well in here. Maybe it's in the warehouse now. But in any case, I do need... A shovel. So... Oh my gosh. Okay, I need some cobblestone first. And no cobblestone here. Is it in the warehouse? Is it really? Mabel! I really appreciate that you're moving things around. Moving things from all over the place into this one place. But here, it's horribly disorganized and you can leave a little bit of cobblestone for my miner to use okay nope oh my gosh am i placing torches this whole time no no i think they're just what the heck they actually i still lose torches but they just disappear <laughs> okay that's not good well i've got one cobblestone in here completely useless Okay, maybe Jazz used all the cobblestone. Hmm, that's possible. 
that is possible. And I just, yeah, I actually just made some furnaces for Samuel as well. I can't even turn this into normal cobblestone because the recipe requires four of them. So, oh my gosh, who would have thought that this is something that I'm going to struggle with? Making a shovel. Oh, that's ridiculous. Okay, let's try to find it. Uh, an another one of these cobblestone... Quartzite cobblestones. Or maybe just some normal cobblestone. That will be nice as well. Oh my gosh, seven furnaces. Didn't even have to make anything. Okay, there we go. There we go, normal ones. And... Uh, do I still have some wood in here? Yes, I do, but I also have some sticks. Which is exactly what I need. And I guess I still had some in my inventory, but whatever. Okay, that's not what I wanted to craft. But I'm sure Jazz will be happy to have another pickaxe. So, why not? Okay, so, still gotta check for gravel. Actually, when I was in the warehouse, I didn't really pay any attention to whether there was any gravel or not. But I gotta double check the warehouse, I gotta check with uh, Jazz again and see if maybe she's carrying some. But now I'm gonna go and get some sand. I already have some clay as well. So I really need just eight for this thing, for this quest. But I'm gonna try to get a little bit more just because I think I need to have it all in my inventory at the same time, which means that I need 8 sand, for example, but also I need a little bit more to craft 8 grout. So I need pretty much a little bit more than 8 of everything. So let's just spend some quality time collecting some sand. And there's actually something I wanted to talk about. This is already quite a you know, this is the middle of the video, so I feel like... Oh my gosh. <laughs> I feel like the only people watching right now are people who are really enjoying this series and really like this channel. So, there is something... Wait. Oh. Is there a skeleton here? There is something I wanted to talk about. I remember a long time ago... Uh, <laughs> this is a hilarious thing, but... On one of my videos of actually season 1 of Steven Universe Let's Play series, there was a bunch of, well, not a bunch of people, but there was like a couple of people who were like, oh my gosh, you, you are swearing. And they were saying that because I said the word badass. I called Peridot badass. And I'm still gonna say it right now, because, come on, come on, that's not offensive at all. That's not a swear word. Really? I mean, not compared to other words, especially. But ever since that point, there was literally just two people saying that. And most of, most of the people were actually quite reasonable and even replied to those people saying like, Come on, really? But ever since that time, I kind of have... I'm, I'm kind of, Oh my gosh, what the heck? Actually, a little bit of a side note. I don't know why, but every single creeper just explodes like fireworks. They don't actually explode. And I don't know why. I mean, that's cool, I guess, but hmm. Kind of feels a little bit too simple, even. But I guess I am trying to live simple life in here. But in any case, back to the original topic. Ever since that point, I'm kind of always thinking that, oh man, I can't say any swear words whatsoever now. And honestly, I just don't really swear that much anyway, right? But I didn't really consciously try to make this some kind of a super family-friendly channel. No, I, I just don't swear much, but sometimes I want to say something and I just catch myself thinking, wait a second, I can't actually say that, because the people that had problem with a word such as badass will have a problem with this word as well. So I wanted to ask your opinion. What do you think about it? What do you think about those kinds of words? And hey, got some gravel in here. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about those words and 
long story short, I don't swear much, but sometimes I do, and I want to know your opinion on what you think about it. So let me know in the comments. And now, it actually kind of showed me that I completed the quest, I think, but I obviously didn't. I don't know, maybe this is either or, so I gotta either get those things or get that. But no, it doesn't look complete to me. So let's make some grout. And let's make sure that this mod pack doesn't change the recipe. Nope, a bunch of sand, a bunch of gravel, and a little bit of... Just a tiny little bit of clay. So I've got plenty of gravel, thankfully. Okay, that should be enough to complete the quest. There we go. Claim 48 grout. There we go. This is this is great. I will be able to build a nice smeltery in the next episode already. And what is the quest after that? This is the quest to actually make seared bricks. And once again, as a reward, I will get some seared bricks as blocks, which I can use for smeltery. This is great. So in the next episode, I will have a proper smeltery. But let's quickly take a look at this place. Samuel needs one crafting table. Oh my gosh, this guy constantly needs something else. And I'm gonna give it to him, sure. But that is it with this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. In the next episode, hopefully, I will have two new citizens and one new guard. But for now, just gotta bring a crafting table. <laughs> Samuel. So yeah, I will see you in the next... well, I guess you might as well witness me give Samuel this crafting table. Okay, he also needs some fences and some stairs. I'm pretty sure I placed a bunch of this stuff in the warehouse, but I guess I gotta double check now. But yeah, that's it with this episode, hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video.